All right. I have to wait for this. Uh, actually, capital's up here. Should work out. They moved their troops to the south. Yeah, you can try that. It's not really going to help you that much, though. That fort has nobody in there, so I should be able to take that really quickly. Like, really quickly. Ayutatha will guard that down there. I just don't want Ayutatha to join this uh, war. Let these mercs take some territory up here. stuff. All that good stuff. Go to the clergy, do a show of devotion. I want to do special commissions to loyalists before I end this. Hopefully I remember this time. Alright, and then those guys... Okay. Alright, you won. We could have worked together. We could have carved up. We could have carved up the song together. You guys running. All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, tax relief. We're now positive. There we go, now there's 514,000 in this province. So it went from 509,000 to 514,000. Feel like they, one year they just didn't add the population. Yeah, because I should have only gotten 500 from the tributaries. It's not like they, uh, it glitched and they gave me like 2,000 or something. Gotta take these remaining provinces from them. I 
Why is my money? Why did it increase so much? Commerce in this province is actually decreasing. Yeah, farmland's still negative. In that province. Interesting. Run away, guys. Run away. Wiped those guys. Take off some of these uh, troops. There you go, perfect. All right. So the peace deal. If I wanted everything. 101 aggressive expansion. Alright, so I probably don't want everything. So I could just have them release Champasak. That would probably be the easiest thing, and then I can go ahead and just um, vassalize them. Probably the same thing with Vientain. Problem with this is they border Ayutatha. So I wonder, taking these five provinces, if I can take those, I'd have to take that province. Actually, it would be these provinces. They wouldn't border Ayutatha. And then I would have them keep their alliance with Ayutatha. The problem is they might break that alliance. So if they break that alliance, then they could conquer them. And if they conquer even like one, if they conquer this province, they border both Lanzang and Champasak. I guess at that point, they come for my tributaries. I just fight them. I break with them. You get rid of that. War reps transfer trade power. If Ayutatha ends up conquering these guys, then that is what it is. But I can warn Chimer so they won't attack Champasak. Give me some ducats. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, I'm at war, so I can't do that right now. Okay. So let's do that. Peace thumb out. Establish tributary. Warn Keimer, because I border Champasak, 
if Chimer attacks them, I would get called in. They'll give me 108 people. And then I go ahead and do... Release Vientain. Actually, I probably should just return that territory to them. That would have been better. So I want to... Enable Scootage, disable it, enable Scootage, disable it. Do that again. Release Rebellious Subject. Actually, that only costs 10 prestige. Then go ahead and establish a tributary. Actually, how much money do they have? Practically no money. Alright, so just establish a tributary. And then I'll give them these three provinces. Alright, so that is uh, two more tributaries, and then I uh, release and go down here. I release Kalantan. Grant them that province. Sell this province to Malacca. for 112 ducats, and that is everything. Okay, so that's a vassal down here, which unfortunately this is now their capital. I might just release them in the future. I'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, I'm not gonna do it again. Probably just release them. But uh, two vassal states up here, warn them. Send a warning on uh, Lanzang as well. That actually makes me a buff. Okay, that's because of military access through these guys. Alright, perfect. So that is 100 from them, 144 from them, 300 from them, 100 from them. So that's 250, 500, 600, 600-ish people delivered to my capital every year as tribute. So that's going to be it for this uh, this episode. Pretty long, I'd say, but uh, play for a little bit and then uh, go from there. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is f not Fez, Vietnam. Still saying, still thinking Fez. Uh, it's 1440, so here is the food total. The end of the 10-year uh, plan. I believe it was the 10-year plan. Food is uh, 1233, so I think that was an increase of 300 food, if I'm not wrong, which is a 30... I believe it was a 33% increase in food production. So that was production and demand at one point became very even and now I've uh, pulled ahead by a bunch so we're not producing a lot more than we're de demanding in terms of food 
Fiber got to 317. And I think everything else should be about the same. Roughly. In terms of population, 4.3 million. Natural change, 17,000. Still people moving out for some reason. Residents still dying. If I do an urban 10-year plan again, it will be to build amenities. So that's how I will deal with that. Okay, so the food plan is done then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on mines for a five-year plan. So 1441 to 1446 will be a five-year mine plan. Because I don't really need 10 years for mines, so... I don't have coal, unfortunately. I can't unlock coal. That's in this province. And that would be a, a lot of investment that I could put in this province, but I can't do that, so I'm going to focus on metal, then. There's a map mode for metal deposits. Is not that one actually. It is. Should be in trade. Actually, it's not in trade either. Metal deposit. There we go. So there's actually only four. There's four metal deposits and there's four precious metal deposits. That province has metal. This province has metal. These all should have metal, actually. Those four have metal. And then this province... There's a gold deposit somewhere up here, actually. Yeah, there's a gold deposit up here that there is no... industry. So that gold deposit up there doesn't show up on the map because it's not open. And there's gold down here and a gold down here. So I'm going to focus on the four gold provinces and the four metal deposits and the metal deposits metal i produce metal i believe produces raw materials yeah metal's output is raw materials I don't really need raw materials, but uh, I'll do like a 25% goal, so 50 raw material. So 194 is the start. Let's say uh, 250 is the goal. That's just something to do. Really, I'm trying to focus on the metal. So let's clear that. I'm going to open up this gold deposit here. Gold doesn't do anything in terms of uh, production. It just produces... Gold produces bouillon, which isn't an actual item. And also, okay, apparently gold produces a little bit of luxury as well. That makes sense. Gold is just turns into gold, so. Open up a gold slot here. And then I'll put 10 ducats into the mines here because the gold size in this province, I'm not missing much. The gold size is 8.96, so it's really not going to do a whole lot, but I might as well just open that up because it exists, so I might as well take advantage of it. The mine size in this province with another gold mine is max, so I can't... There's no reason to do any investment in that province. This one is max as well, and this one is 
close to max. Ten ducats. Might as well, I guess. So those were those. This one has metal. Okay, this one must have coal then. There's, yeah, gold and coal. So, that's so, okay. This province has gold and coal, but the mine size is only nine, so that's kind of worthless, actually. Because that mine size isn't going to increase once I can unlock coal, so that's... Kind of worthless, actually. Metal in this province, I'll go ahead and put... Uh, Twenty ducats into that province, which isn't a lot, but uh, I don't want too much overinvestment because I'm still overinvested in the farmland right now. Now these two provinces down here are coastal, so they also have salt, so this is going to be split between salt and raw materials. Salt and the mines. Ten there, ten there. Alright, probably not going to hit that goal, but that goal is kind of just to... Um, just kind of out there. Mong Mao wants a marriage. Uh, no. The other thing I'm going to do is the nobility has a decent amount of mines, so I'm going to go ahead, and most of the mines in the country are profitable, so I'm going to go ahead and steal, I mean, uh, uh, borrow their land. Borrow their mines. 214 units. Negative 15 noble loyalty, negative 1 hierarchy, negative 20 relations between the aristocrats and the state, some negative progress towards stability. Looks like that uh, recent land expro expropriation actually only lasts a year and a half, so that's actually pretty good. I think that used to be five years. They must have bumped that down, unless I'm remembering wrong. So I'm going to take that... The peasant freedom in the north now is 98%, so that's increasing rapidly. And it's 100% in the south, so the south is completely free in terms of peasant freedom, and the north is practically free. So I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, overlook tenant abuse, and then see where they end up after the end of that. But I'm thinking they should be fine. The peasants should be fine. Looks like the aristocrats hate me now. Negative two. Metropolitans are okay. Spiritualists, chiefs, and bureaucrats are okay as well. Alright. A little bit of investment into the mines. All right, I went like a year. So corruption is rapidly decreasing, and I'm wondering, at the start of the camp, this campaign, I gave this to the burgers, Overlook Smuggling. I recently took that away. I'm not, sure, I'm not saying this is why, but maybe the smuggling is why that does that, why my corruption was really high. Because if I go ahead and I go to this, Pardon Smugglers, this is a support for the burgers. That gives 0.1 yearly corruption per year and 10% times burger power added to local corruption. So smuggling increases corruption. And this is overlook smuggling. I suppose I could test by uh, giving this to them. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. I'll test this. Because then I could just always just revoke it. So it's negative point one, negative one point two, right now yearly. I imagine if it did, it would be state corruption. So state corruption right now is points plus point six four, 
plus 0 0.08, plus 0 0.04, and plus 0 0.01. Revoking that is going to cost 20 burger stability, or plus negative 20 burger loyalty. So I see how that goes. Might as well test it out. I'll take the next tech and apparently build the next level of castle, but I don't really have, uh, I don't want to spend money for that, so I'll just keep my castles where they're at for now. Let's see if that changes at all. Alright, January 1st, corruption's still decreasing. Might not have just not, might not have just updated yet. I'm not like reducing corruption over here. No? Okay. Does Chimer have any territory that doesn't belong to them? Or there's a, another country with a core. They do not. They're allied with Hantawadi. Hantawadi over there. I want to fight these guys. Trade conflict. Blockade ports. Monetary reparations. Concession of defeat. Transfer 50%. Trade power. Trade steering. 100% cost force. So this is kind of... Worthless. How much money do they have? They only have 209 ducats, so... Not gonna be a huge windfall if I attack them. Alright, I have the next admin tech. So this is some more corruption reduction. Systemic oversight. Negative 0.1 corruption per year, so I'll go ahead and take that. That should reduce my corruption even more. We must destroy corruption. The next bureaucracy idea is yearly clan power negative two, so that'll be nice. Get rid of some of that clan power in the country. And the last one is the nice one, yearly state reach plus 0.2 and bureaucratic influence plus 0.1. And then to top it off, a little bit of admin efficiency. Let's just go ahead and do this. I don't really need uh, Ayutatha in this. I suppose I could always give these provinces to Champasak to make them a little bit more... Oh wait, no, I can't take any provinces actually. Get a little bit more tribute from those guys. A little bit more manpower. Let's have these mercs. Mercs can stay. Everybody else goes. You go back. Was it fourteen forty three? I do make two and a half ducats now. Not sure if that's with... 
That shouldn't be with uh, taxes. Property income and I'll make 74 ducats from, so... The mines help out somewhat. Not a huge windfall, but it's something. Industry, one and a half ducats. So that's without taxes, so... If I all of a sudden wanted to uh, roll in the money... I know that must be with taxes. Either that's with taxes or it just hasn't updated yet. So I'm not I'll not uh, do taxes and see. I believe that just has not uh, updated yet. game so if uh, that expires after January 1st then it won't show up as them paying anything because they don't pay on January 1st Take all of their territory. Grab the next dip tech. Interestingly, this is a blockade port CB, so I don't have the war goal. But I want... Okay, yeah, this is 50% off. Or transfer trade is 50% off. Yet it doesn't say that. want them to end their rivalry with... Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that. They will not give me 140 ducats. Can't do any of that. Steer trade. I feel like steer trade is kind of worthless, but I'll take that. Actually, if I can walk through Ayutatha, I'll go and loot uh, Huntawadi's provinces. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay, so let's see how much the peasants give me in terms of taxes. I'll take out these guys first, actually. They'll probably run, but... Alright, so we, I make uh, 865, so they must pay a lot, actually. 138 ducats the peasants play, pay. I think they were paying 80 before, so that's uh, 550 ducats. So f about 4.5 ducats ish per year. 103 ducats from property, 16 ducats from industry. So industry income went from 1.6 to 16. Property income went up a little bit as well. What happened in these mines? That mine still makes money, actually. And that mine still makes money. I think those just haven't updated. So I don't want to go ahead and put more money into those provinces. Yeah, the uh, commerce district of this province is decreasing. I'm going to put some investment into academic in my capital in this province down here. I'm probably not going to do an academic plan, so... I'll just do that right now. Alright. All right. 
Alright, I kind of just wanted to scare them off. I'll send these guys over here. There are 534,000 people in our capital. So, it's growing 3,000 plus roughly six to 700 from tribute. That's actually growing a lot. Let's see the census. In terms of population, 19,333 natural change a year. In terms of tenant size, residents still doing a pretty bad. Burgers, clergy. Oh no, the nobles are growing. No nobles. Kill the nobles. Food decreased a lot. Is that because this dropped? Yeah, this dropped. Okay, so... The difference between Irrigation Rank 2 and Irrigation Rank 3 in this province is worth about 70-ish food. It's actually a lot for one level in one province. Raw materials is now 211. So that increased by 17. Alright, so what I want to do is get this back, not that. This is not the food plan, but I'm going to go ahead and consider this. Okay, now it's 242 ducats. Did it decay that much that it was 70 before and now it's 242? Or am I selecting something, uh... Sometimes things will randomly be selected that you don't think... N not that the th something gets randomly selected, but it might still be selected after you think you unselect something. No, that's still 242 ducats. Okay, that's interesting. For five size, that's... It also doesn't tell you how many units you need, which is interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to do that. I imagine it's not supposed to do that, because it's not zero units that are needed. Should actually only be five units, which is about 70 ducats, so I'm not sure why it's saying 242. And interestingly, the elite investment is actually over maintenance spending, so I'm not sure why it's decaying as well. But uh, I will go ahead and just pay that then. It also builds seven units. Which would put it at 80. I might just have that selected to plus... That's plus two, but it goes an additional unit for some reason. Weird. This should be a good province to loot. Eight urban development. I had about 200 ducats, so that was the cost of that irrigation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do 25% of the irrigation cost in that province. I'll see how much that costs. If it's too much, then I'll remove that. Plus, I guess, uh, taking these provinces, I can separate piece out these guys and get some additional ducats from them. Eight ducats. I'm going to go ahead and not give tax breaks to the peasants for a little bit, just to collect the money. All 
All right, what will you give me? 65 ducats and war reps. I only have one province left. Transfer trade isn't that great. And I'm not sure it actually... It's supposed to make them buy your goods first before going elsewhere, but... I don't have a merchant over here, or down here, actually, so I don't think that actually does anything, because I don't have merchants present. January 1st. Okay, corruption is still decreasing. So everybody just decided to beat corruption, band together and beat corruption. I'm going to increase in corruption, corruption a little bit by expanding the bureaucracy. I'm trying to get them to 40%. It's a very slow slog to get there. State reach decreases every year, so I have to continue, continuously do the expand the bureaucracy to get there. When I finish off bureaucracy, that'll help a little bit because state reach will be increased by 0 0.2. So it, it'll go up. It won't go negative anymore. It'll go up a little bit, even when I'm not doing the expand the bureaucracy. Now we make negative three ducats. Why is that? Is it uh, commerce? It is commerce. The old negative commerce income. The old double whammy, negative 220%, negative 222% profitability of the commerce industry. Alright, that's alright. The peasants are paying for that. Alright, let's get that extra prestige point, so I'll have them break off their military access, so they'll give me 65 ducats, 10% war reps, transfer trade power. Only negotiating for themselves. Keimer. Alright, Keimer will give me 10% war reps, 50% trade power, steer trade, which is kind of worthless, but I'll do it anyway. 126 ducats. Just trying to collect that duck. Suck them duck. We looted 3,635 ducats. Really wanna, what, what I want to do is loot Bengal. That would be great. I actually own this province, so I could attack them through this province. So I conquer a province from Ayutthaya, and then I have access. Timer just got their ass beat and then they insult me. Really? That's because they know they have a truce. Cowards, a truce for 15 years. Such cowards over there. Not a whole lot of people migrating in this province. Profitability? Okay, just 
This was like negative 130 at one point, so it went down to negative 50. Looks like irrigation also dropped to one. I think this was two before. Yeah, that would have decreased. Okay, so let's get that back to two. And I'll see how much that costs. Funding 25%. Looks like that costs... 25% here costs 5 ducats. Because it was 5 ducats before. I think I'm paying for the harborage in this province. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to get rid of that. That's five ducats. That's pretty cheap, actually. Let's go ahead and improve with those guys, and... All right, what is their uh, Bengals? Bengals tech is 13. We're tech 15, so there are two techs below us. They have 1,500 ducats in their treasury. Fortunately, they're allied with uh, John Poor. Their army quality comparison is pretty bad. 6% less discipline. Okay, I thought they had 5,000. For a second there, I thought they had 5,000 troops. I was like, what? No, they only, they have 21,000. Force limit 27, so they'd probably build a bunch of troops if I attacked them. Imagine they have some good provinces to loot. And all of the provinces that I just looked at have no urban development. Maybe they don't. They have one province with 15 urban development. Oh, there's a couple provinces in the north. They're not working with a whole lot over there. Alright, I'm going to end this part here and uh, pick it up in the next part. You can go ahead and take the next bureaucracy idea. I'll just grab that right now then. So close to that yearly state reach. So uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.